Hello everybody. Uh, <laughs> about the week before Christmas, I kind of stopped vlogging. We all got sick. It took everybody down for at least a day. There was definitely about two to three days where I was very low energy, so I kind of just stopped vlogging. I didn't have much of a voice, but I wanted to catch you guys up on everything that has happened since the last time I vlogged. So this is going to be kind of a talk you through the vlogs that I started, but never ended up finishing. <laughs> Well, the first day that you're going to see is a day we went to the dancing lights and we had just a really fun time. So I'm going to throw you into that. Hello, everybody. So we ended up getting sick this last week and I sound like I'm still like super stuffy, but doing so much better. The kids had their last day of school, so we are in the clear for Christmas break. I'm so excited. We are doing the Christmas light drive through I don't know what it's called, but we do it every year. We're gonna pick up the Pizza Hut triple treat box and we've like made it a tradition now, I think. Our kids said, I don't know. We're picking up pizza and we're going and we're gonna eat pizza. We're gonna lay the seats down in the back of the van and the kids can just um, kind of roam around back there. The triple treat box from Pizza Hut is a lot of fun. This it sounds like an ad, but it's not. <laughs> it comes in a really cute box, but it comes with two medium pizzas, breadsticks, and then you get to pick a dessert, which we picked the chocolate chip cookies. We are bringing some blankets. I'm gonna bring some paper plates and some paper towels, and we're just gonna have a good time. It's gonna be pretty simple. All right, uh, let's go pack up some paper plates and hit the road. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you, baby, this year is... Naughty or nice, we all get a slice. <laughs> Chill, isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everything else, isn't this how it's supposed to be? Christmas memories. <laughs> Two more days with our winter. Pass it to Kevin. Pass it to Kevin. Pass it to Kevin. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights. So you should come back home to me. Up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. A little skinny. <laughs> Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. So, as you saw, we had a fantastic time. As you know, I keep things very real. I was the most disappointed this year with the lights. Uh, everything was covered in snow. There was just not a lot of care in the lights, so I was a little bit bummed, but we still made the best of it. The kids still had a fantastic time. They got to eat pizza in the back of the van, and then we went and drove through, and we just didn't focus on all the, the stuff, but I would hate for you guys to go and be like, this is really disappointing, because it was $20 for us to go to that, and there was just, I mean, there was probably six to eight inches the snow on everything but I was like you know what we're gonna make the best of it we've already paid we already got pizza we're making the memories we had a good time and that was that night a couple days later was Christmas Eve and it is tradition for us to go over to my mom's I do not vlog I used to a long time ago but 
it's just it's just really nice to be present and not pick up a camera and have to worry about getting footage and all of that. I, I'm just present while I'm there. I did film a couple things on my phone of the kids opening what the tradition for our family is instead of everybody doing gifts. We just do the cousins. We kind of put all the cousins into a pot and like I have four kids so I get four names that I get to buy for for Christmas. It was a really, really good Christmas Eve. Um, some years have felt very production like uh, there's a lot of vloggers in our family and so it's just it's it's there's been a lot of stuff added throughout the years that has felt too much for me um, maybe not for everybody else but the tradition for our family has just been get together eat and hang out and not so much about how much we can pack into a night and this Christmas Eve was absolutely just that. We did a white elephant uh, and we do it a little bit differently where everybody brings a gift and puts it in the pile and then when we go to play, everybody grabs a gift and then you roll the dice and you it, it tells you what you have to do. So either you have to pass a gift left or right, um, maybe open up the present and then there is a steal option and you have to steal. So that was a lot of fun. That was the only activity we did and I was really grateful for that because a lot of years it just feels like we're checking the boxes off, like do this, do this, do this. And it's just, it's honestly pretty chaos. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot. I go home very frazzled and this year was just beautiful. We did the white elephant, but that was it. And we just hung out and talked and, and we were just with each other and it wasn't, it wasn't just moving on to the next thing. And um, that totally filled my heart with so much joy. And everything that I love about getting together is just being together, eating, hanging out. Um, and that's, that's what this Christmas Eve was. So I'm gonna throw you into the very few clips that I got on my phone of the kids opening presents. I think that is it, but here those are. was Lance and I just finishing everything up, doing the stockings, but yeah, a kiddo needed me and I forgot or what I was talking about, but on Christmas Eve, we came home. It was like 7.30. It was kind of late, later than I wanted to be, but we were just having such a good time at my mom's that I just wanted to hang out. We came home and kind of got everything picked up and ready, and then we sat and read the story of Jesus out of the Bible and just had good conversation with the kids, let them ask questions and they wondered why he was born in a barn instead of a, <laughs> instead of, you know, a hospital or a, a room. So it was really fun to answer those, just those questions that kids have. I really like my kids to be able to ask as many questions as they need. Uh, they don't ever get in trouble for asking a question, even if they think it's inappropriate. I want them to ask me rather than going to a friend, a uh, classmate, whatever. So we did that and then we went right into leaving cookies for Santa because I was sick the week before Christmas. Um, there was no homemade cookies and that's okay. We left Oreos, a candy cane, and a bunch of carrots for the reindeer. It was a very simple night. It was nothing extravagant, but the kids went to bed. It was probably, I mean, it was a couple hours of things. Um, I'm just sitting around and talking and then getting the cookies and the milk ready. My kids have asked if we do the stockings and I told them, yeah, I fill the stockings because I enjoy that before Santa gets here. It took us a few hours to open gifts and that was okay. I wanted to be able to sit and enjoy each gift and um, just all the special ones that they got. Their school gets these little just cheap gifts that kids can come with a little bit of money and be able to buy something for their family members. And those are always so special to me uh, because they're just, they're very thoughtful gifts. Uh, each one you can tell put thought into it and, 
and it's the stuff that makes my heart melt. So without further ado, let me throw you to Christmas morning. Yeah. Can you put it back too? These are my favorite Labby Tabbies, <laughs> bud! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, that's so thoughtful because you know banana's my favorite. Welcome to the Croc family. Yep. Oh, don't, don't. You have scissors? Convert the children one at a time. <laughs> Thank 
sketchbooks. Is that what you were needing? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, a popcorn maker. Whoa, it's a big one. Nice. Oh, it is a big one. It's a bunch of motors. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a light for your, for your, well, we were thinking, you can use it wherever you want, but we figured it would work really good on your bed. Thank you. So you have like a little reading light. Thank you, that is so cool. Just for you. I'm Just for mommy. Yeah. yeah. I think it's in the back of Dad's truck. Oh, okay. Wait, is it? Get up there, buddy. What's that? Oh, it's a lot of bed! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I literally was guessing that. I was like, it's gonna be a lot of bed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys got drone! Oh my gosh. That is crazy. <laughs> so you have your light and you got your LED lights. That's why we yes. got you a bunch of stuff for your, your organizer. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. You guys excited? Yeah. Mm. yeah. No, no dim. Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yes. <laughs> Brayden, oh. did you want one of those? Yeah. You did? Is it just the one that just came out? You okay, no, buddy? It's, it's the two, it's fine. It, it, it plays, it plays every- just a lot. I've got a lot of my other game. Mm -hmm. Lock oh. bed, <laughs> Oculus. I can't play Ooh, that's a lot to process. It's okay to cry, buddy. I get tears I in my eyes. Should I tell him also, though? What? What? I should tell him, right? The, the, other, the other thing? Yeah. Guess what? what? Papa ordered you guys one too, so we're gonna have two of them. <gasps> two. Isn't that so nice? I'm it will be here for about a week. Tux, there's an Iron Man game where like you're in the suit. I've seen the that heads movie. up, and there's like a plane in the air, like smoking, and you have to like fix the plane, and you use the controllers for the, the shooting the beams. Oh, that's so cool. Dad has one from Grandma Gail. <gasps> Mario Party. <laughs> Oh my yep. Gosh. So we can all play. It's the new Mario Party. Oh what my God! Yeah. You were just showing me that one. Yeah. So we can all play. Yep. Yeah. Play together. Is that nice, of Grandma Gail? Yeah. yeah. Nice and big too. Oh, I love it. All the sourdough. Are you guys excited? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, the little sourdough kids! Thank you. Oh. Cause you like proof them in these, and then you flip them into the Dutch oven. Yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, I think. Yes. Oh. I love them. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Really? You yeah. found one? Yeah. Found what? Oh. Found what? I ordered this months ago because I was not going to be a victim to them being out of stock again this year. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What is it? Mixed ice cream. Oh, I can't. Like healthy ice cream with protein and... Or not healthy. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Heart, 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 heart. <laughs> it's black, it's not white. Oh, okay. Thank you. How did you even get this? Huh? How did you even get this? What do you mean? This is like a TikTok thing. Yeah. What? No, just kidding. What is it? Oh, did you brushes? You do. They're always like the best brushes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have a full ninja kitchen. <gasps> Dad, look in the comments. <laughs> the comments on the video. Yeah. You better be. You better that's our showing dad. Yeah. Oh. Yep. You did. Oh, thank you. Her little <laughs> narco bags here, you know, Pablo Escobar. <laughs> I saw buffalo plaid and I got them. Buffalo plaid and gnomes. I love gnomes. <laughs> Thank you, honey. That's mm -hmm. so sweet. Oh, a little bed set. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Get in here. Get in here. Oh. Love you. Come here. Flat foot. But, oh my gosh. Oh. Dad, this looks like I'm, like, I'm looking at a Minecraft. Like, really mm -hmm. Hold on, baby king. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, I love Dad, that so much. It must be an ornament. So sweet. Mm. That's good. Just for all the days. Oh. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love it. Is it marshmallows? No. no. Is it a stress ball? <laughs> Thank you. As you saw, it was an amazing day. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I was just fully, just watching the joy on all of their faces. The boys are absolutely stoked 
for their loft beds. It, that's something that they have wanted for a very long time is to kind of have their own areas. The rooms are really small and the boys share a room. And so it just kind of gives them both their own little space to have and they can do what they want to with it. It doesn't have to be what the other brother wants. So um, Christmas was amazing. Uh, it was very low key. We didn't leave the house. The rest of my family went to a movie on Christmas and I just, I just didn't want to go anywhere. I, Christmas has always been a very um, low stress day and I knew that would have caused a little bit of stress to be able to be presentable. I don't want to be presentable on Christmas. So we decided to not go, um, which was the right decision for us. My family all had a fantastic time and I love that. My kids were also very exhausted because they were just played so hard at my grandma's or my mom's and then and then, you know, they didn't sleep super good on Christmas Eve night because they were so excited for Christmas morning. So they would have been like, their character would have been gone by the end of that movie if we would have went. To continue on, um, what, has, what else has happened? Uh, Landon did have his infusion two days after Christmas. And I think I brought you guys along in the last one um, and I'm just gonna update that he did not have the same issues that he had his last infusion which was such a huge relief for me. He was really, really struggling uh, his last in the week before his last infusion. This infusion was two days after Christmas, and in the back of my mind, I was just thinking about how, you know, Christmas is going to fall within that week before his infusion, and I didn't want him to be miserable and um, just in pain, and um, I wanted to, him to just be able to enjoy Christmas and that did happen. He had very few issues before his infusion and I am just so grateful. The infusion went good. Um, then we rushed off because, I don't know if I can say this yet. What I will say is that we rushed off for a very important event at my mom's house and I hate to be vague but it's not my stuff to put out there you know if they have shared it I will put it in the description box below go check it out it was a beautiful day the following day I got the opportunity to make authentic tamales with my brother-in-law's mom and I you guys <laughs> I know for some of you, you're like, oh, I've made those my whole life, but I have always wanted to make tamales. It's one of those foods that I didn't just want to go to a class to make. I wanted them to be authentic. I wanted to be from somebody that has made them their whole life and has, has, has memories with them. And I got that opportunity and <laughs> I just, I was like a kid on Christmas. I was so excited. So Manuela, my brother-in-law's mom, walked us through the whole thing. It, so I got some clips on my phone and some pictures and stuff, so I'm gonna throw that in right here. very long vlog but I wanted to kind of catch you guys up. I just wanted to finish up the month of December and kind of let you guys know what was going on because I did get a little bit here and there. Most of it was on my phone because I just wasn't in vlog mode. Now it's time to take this down. This is probably the longest I've kept my Christmas decorations up and it's only five days after Christmas. <laughs> I'm ready to declutter, I'm ready for the clear, clear space, ready to organize, find things, because guys, you know I keep it real. There is piles of stuff. That doesn't look that bad, okay? Look, check this area out. Look at, look at my living room. There's just so much stuff that does not have homes. Look at over here, look. At, there's just so much mess everywhere because nothing has homes and I feel like once I get the Christmas decorations out, I can kind of find homes for everything and all will be well. But for now, 
it is what it is. It has been a beautiful December, the least anxiety I've ever had. I've talked about it a little bit previously, but December is just a very high anxiety month for me. It, and I really just don't, I don't have anything that happened that was like traumatic, but it's just always been a very stressful month for me. And so that's why I don't put a lot of pressure on doing vlogmas or vlogmish or any of those because I'm already pretty stressed out most of the time. Um, did I get everybody gifts that I wanted to get gifts? No, but I'm learning to just be okay with that. The most important thing I can do is be present and low stress for my family because when I'm stressed, my fuse is shorter and I will um, just get flustered more often or get frustrated and I don't wanna be like that. And this is one of the best Decembers I have had in so long. This is already a long vlog if you are still here. Thank you so much. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, whether it was with family, if you were by yourself, um, if, it's, if it's what you wanted it to be, or maybe it was not so much what you wanted it to be, but you made it, you're here, you're doing amazing. All right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!